Hey there birds, welcome to another Rail game. I've been enjoying playing Rail a little bit recently, so I thought I'd do another one. Just to try and showcase her a little bit more. And um, we're playing with Evolution for this one, and we're up against the Lulu Aphelios. Enemy team has some decent late game scaling, so in this game in particular we need to be uh, winning quite early on. There's a good chance Pantheon will pay us some attention though, the enemy Pantheon. In order to try and stop that from happening though. I'm not too sure how Elise is this patch in 11.2. I haven't seen her played for a really long time. Usually it's um, Ivan or Assassins getting played in the jungle. Like the most AP jungle I've seen so far is probably Nidalee. Nidalee's been played a lot this patch still. But Elise is um, pretty rare. At least in Diamond Plus from what I've seen. Usually it's like Kane and Kha'Zix, Vaego, Hecarim, Pantheon, Ivan. Those are like the main ones. But yeah, for this lane, we're going to want to be aggressive from like level 2 onwards. I don't really care about level 3. My Javelin, my Q, whatever it is, the um, whatever this thing is called, the Lance. There's absolutely nothing. <laughs> it's pretty garbage, the Q. I wish it was stronger. Not a fan of the Q. You've seen a lot of elusive top conqueror already. I think I've seen it in one game early on in the patch, but nothing too recent. Mission's getting harassed quite a lot. too deep for me to engage now. It's actually not in a good spot for uh, for me and Lucian to play around. It's a very awkward situation here. here though. I'll get my shield when I come in here. Okay. Not ideal. Pamphion got the kill. I got first blood. Go for still uh, plate caps I think first item down here. AX, thank you for the Prime Gaming sub, welcome to the Berry Bush. And thank you for everyone using the channel points to boost the stream at the moment. I'm trying to get the stream to the front page of Twitch. Lucian still gets 200 gold for that kill. That's not too bad for him, but... Obviously not ideal. And Pantheon getting a kill is going to enhance his roaming capacity. But... If we can keep the lane here, I think we can force out another fight. Maybe I can do something with Hextech Flash, maybe. Lulu's mid right now, actually. Maybe I should look to roam. Teleport mid from Cassidon. Nice. is warded. Yeah, the ward just ran out as soon as the Hextech flash ended. Bit of a shame. Um, what is the... Uh, 
Why do you get back in? That was not good. That wasn't a good engage at all from the Lucian. Okay. Yeah, I don't know why he went back in there. It was good initial poke there onto the Aphilia, so it was like a decent like start from us. And then thrown. <laughs> Pretty quickly. We got massive level disadvantage now. Like that Phyllis is five and I'm still level three. Yeah, that Lucian needs to stop just going in randomly now. They get a dragon from that as well. That's huge. Why not early sweep up? Prefer having vision as opposed to taking away vision early. New Age of Empires 2 patch nurse Franks a little bit. Yeah, those new sieves look pretty cool though. I, I want to play Age just to play those new sieves. I've also been playing. I want to play. There's a lot of games I want to play at the moment. I want to play um, Path of Exile. I want to play Hearthstone, B Battlegrounds. I want to play Age of Empires. Seleki's been fine lately as well. That ain't good. That's terrible. We are in trouble. Thing is, do I want to engage here? Nice. Yeah, people always disrespect that little disengage there. And then being able to sprint back, people don't expect that at all. Uh, that's a huge win for us. That makes up for the uh, the previous run down a little bit. I don't have demolish. Pantheon is on three kills right now. Okay. Does that little knock up with Rao work with Yasuo ulti? Yeah, it will do. Um, yeah, we'll do... Still to play caps. I don't think we're doing Carbo Temp Chem Tank. No, we're not. They got too much. Aoe, and I don't think my me with a Turbo Chem Tank is going to help at all. If anything, that's just going to make me overextend. By myself, I have no one else to help me follow up engages. I don't want to be out there by myself. I kind of want them to engage onto us and then pop my uh, locket and then do my things. Got OT in a second. Pantheon's entering super fed status. Especially when there's four people bought him. <laughs> 37 damage. <laughs> For such a huge lance, it really does no damage, doesn't it? Oh, 
Oh, is that prediction? Did I do it for this game or is it for the Yumi game? I've completely forgotten in the Twitch chat, by the way. Let me know if I need to give out points or not. I've already forgotten. Just for the last one. My bad. There you go. Anyway, it's been a good, like, showing from me and Ral. I think I've been playing her quite nicely here. Got my ulti again in 9 seconds. Try and maybe do, like, a Hextech Flash thingy here, maybe. Rumble's really weak. I was expecting more, if I'm honest. Rumble hasn't even got a completed item, actually. He didn't, he didn't have ult either. It, yeah. Boys, I would have just stayed in that brush and just recalled, I think, and just gambled trying to get away there. Yeah, that's rough. Pantheon is dictating the flow of this game completely now. Castings on 2 0 now as well. So this game is looking very, very difficult for us to win. Yeah, our team needs to get ahead early, not behind. It's nice that we got all the plates up top side. Looks like we're getting some plates mid. We need more though. What item do I take when playing Senna? Do I take Manamune? I'm still not fully certain about Man Immune. I don't feel like it's um, the best choice anymore. It feels like it generally takes too long to stack up. Uh, it might be better still to just do Umbral Glaive instead of Man Immune. Maybe. I think there's a solid argument for it right now. Pantheon's kind of nearby. Here it comes. Another kill, man. He's got seven kills at the moment. It's looking like another one. I was going to hex tech flash. Alright, this what? I was going to Hextech flash, but it literally, when normal flash came back up at like the worst time. Perhaps he's looking for a play down here. He's going for dragon. Tough game, man. Really, really tough game. Just because, like, yeah, as I mentioned at the start of the game, wasn't sure about the Elise pick. And it's really, like, starting to haunt us quite a lot. One thing we have is, like, mid-game. Maybe I can work with the Orianna for a decent ulti, but... 
If I was the enemy team, I'd just complete, like make sure I keep don't only fight like in two v twos and three v threes and stuff, rather than big team fights. Okay. This is the lack of damage here and the amount of healing from that pantheon is uh, interesting. That Gore Drinker needs nothing so fast. That's that's stronger than Moonstaff, 100%. There's that one item. Gore Drinker's busted. It's absolutely disgusting, the amount of healing that's on that item. I think I'm going to have to go um, Bramble just because of that. The reason, I don't know why this item is still giving this amount of healing after all at this time. It's really annoying. The fact that they can turn Pantheon into some sort of like god tank is ridiculous. He should have died there if it wasn't for Gore Drinker. Is Lux on Wild Rift? Yeah, her ult's global. Polymorph there as well, maybe. We got a rumble with TP, not TPing right now. Lucian shouldn't have been taking that fight. They're all there. I don't know why he's going in 1v5. Rumble ult's not that strong. I'm surprised it didn't go um Lee Andrews. So that's going to be their third Drake. They'll find you in pieces. We need to look for a 5v5 like super soon. I feel like we need to make a trap. I don't know. It's not gonna happen. Too many random 1v1s and stuff. End is nine. Deficit might be too large. Like that one might have been like just topped it over the edge. We're not here yet. Videos is bot, but that's it. It's triple stamina. Uh, it's a shame the Lucian didn't dash in quicker, then I could have interrupted the Pantheon ulti with my stun. I don't know, I need to recall. Need to go into Thornmill. It's a shame the Pantheon didn't die though. 
but if we can get this Baron, it would help a lot. But like, Elise is level nine. We have to kill Pantheon. Oh my god, this is bad. This is bad. Oh my god. Alright, Pantheon died. This Baron is super low. Can you get it? What the hell is this fight, guys? Right, wow. Alright, three of us got Baron. That actually worked. <laughs> Somehow I managed to survive a really long time to that caster in as well. I thought he was just gonna kill me there, but he wasted... He had to waste like an extra two seconds to finish me off instead of going on to someone else. So many little things made a difference there. If Pantheon went for kills instead of Baron, I can understand why he went for the Baron though, because it looked like he was going to get it, but if he went for kills, then we wouldn't have got the Baron. It's like a lot of little things that happen there. We gotta control the Ocean Drake now, because it's Ocean Soul for them if they get it. I think I'm the only one. I know we've got Morello on the Rumble, which is nice. Might be in a bit of a pickle here. I can't get in. We don't have Rumble Ult, my ult. We lost a lot of ults there. Enemy team just popped Herald. This is quite low. Orana's is all two's back up. Good. Lulu's low too. It's a controlled at the back. We got it. Put Grupa Swims on this. Engage here in a second. The Malphite. Yeah, he took my movement speed. Oh. Okay. Wait, my team's not here. Elise! She did red instead of helping there. Ugh, why are we chasing for that length of time then? Pain in the ass, man. Noxians aren't the heroes they think they are. Anyway. That was a good fight. Game is, you know, the longer this goes on still though, the, the harder it gets. But team fight has at least been working out for us. Might need some more magic resistance now. Yeah, magic resistance is next on the menu. Force of nature or something like that. They're buffing that next patch actually. But yeah, something like a force of nature would be quite nice, I think. Where's Elise? Uh, 
that's a really good catch. They have no tier 2 turret mid, uh, top or bot side. Once the bot my ulti like ages ago, but the crowd control, yeah, it was a bad ult for me. Nothing happened with it. The ideal there was like flashing onto Aphilios. Grounding them all up, but Aphilios flashed. Ended up being okay for us there though. It wasn't that bad. Pantheon's dead, that's the big one. Malphite ulti was used also. Just this caster that we need to be careful about. Ending's gonna be difficult. No, it's not gonna work. Baron's in 35 seconds. Yeah, as soon as we group up, it's fine. Cassadin's not close to 16, but we need this Baron. If we lose this Baron, it will probably buy them too much time. Pant spot right now. He has ulti though. Now it's Ocean Drake control. 40 seconds for that, but we can push down mid. I want to get a couple of wards around in the area. You can use Summoner Heal there. Right. Whoa, Lulu. At least it's caught here. Oh, this is really, really bad. Why are they doing their own thing? Why was our team split? This is fine. Yeah, I don't know why Elise and Oriana are doing their own little thing then. They, they, they were slipping back into their laning phase, bad habits of just um, dying by themselves. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> Death to all yordles. There we go. Only 3.4k damage taken from the turret there. Um, along with the Lucian, I don't, I don't know. The other guys on the team were a little bit tilted and, you know. I think we had some nice fights there though. I think I played pretty decently that game. I hope you guys enjoyed that gameplay of Rel. Yeah, I've done like, um, a rail game recently as well and felt like we did pretty well. I think that the last couple of the rail games on the YouTube channel, I think it's just like we did really well over one. Like invades like worked out really nicely for us. Whereas this game it was more this game was very balanced from the start, you know, there wasn't any goofy stuff, invades and stuff like that. We we utilized the engage pretty nicely. Um and yeah, got out of a couple of situations quite nicely too as well. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed that. So yeah, if you enjoyed watching that gameplay, then uh, make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel. Let me know if you want to see more tank gameplay, tank uh, videos I put up onto the YouTube channel. Don't do as well as like the Enchanters and stuff, so do let me know if you want me to continue like uploading as many tank videos as I'm 
doing right now because um algorithm doesn't on youtube doesn't appreciate it <laughs> that much um so do let me know if you want to keep seeing a lot more of this tank kind of gameplay otherwise i'll tone it down a little bit um if you're watching on twitch thank you and don't forget to follow and uh, don't forget to stay very awesome